I don't care how many goofy Asian kids are buying your ugly shoes. I don't, I don't care, it, you know, about all this other stuff. If you can't talk to me about something that's important, then we got to hang up because time is short. We have work to do. All of us, you have work to do. You know, your family, that's you, man. That's your legacy. That's your last name. That's your, that's your institution. That is your Google. That is your Walmart. That is your Microsoft. And, and I just encourage you to love yourself enough to just really train yourself to know that that's what matters for you, that you, you, you matter to you, your family matters to you, and your community matters to you. And in my view, my humble two cents, that's where you should be giving your best. That's where you're going to get the best bang for your buck. That's where you're going to get your ROI. Uh, when I met that, that mother and her son, Nuke, and they were working together. I said, yeah, this is your family legacy. You, you're you building this brand. This is this is something you build and you you pour in all, everything you got into this instead of running off trying to work for some white guy. And then guess what? You can pass this down to your kids you, when your, your children are not even born yet. But you're working on behalf of those children because wealth is time. Time is wealth. And by the, the fact that you're 29 years old means you have some time. You have time to get ready for those kids. And your job is to work your ass off and to build, 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 just like you're building a house for them. You're building a, a house, and this house is going to keep them warm. This house is going to keep them safe. This house is going to keep them protected from all of the conquerors and the abusers and the people in the world that want to suck your children into slavery. They want to pull them away from where they need to be and put them in places where they're going to be of best use to somebody else. That's what you're doing, man. That's that's what I that's what I that you know. Then that's what I was thinking when I was talking to this kid. And I was like, come on, man, like your children are going to be born. We're going to you, you're going to build this damn thing. And then when you get if you do it right, which I know you can, they'll never have to work for anybody. Why? Well, because I, I'm living good in 2054 because of what my daddy did back in 2024. If you want to know where rich people come from, that's where they come from. Somebody puts in the work and they make sure the work is applied in a space where they're going to get something to show for it. A lot of us work extremely hard. A lot of us spend lots of money. A lot of us put out lots of effort. And because we're not conscious of where that effort is going or where that money is going or where that labor is going, we end up busting our ass for 20 or 30 years, spending light crazy. And then you look around and you say, damn, I have absolutely nothing around me to show for all this effort I've been putting out here. What happened here? Well, because nobody made you conscious enough to say, you know, what are you exact? What are you doing here? What's the best use of your time and your energy? What's the best use of your resources? I say the best use of your resources, your time, your energy, is you, your family, your legacy, and your community. And it ain't got nothing to do with what white folks over there are doing. They can, they, white, folk, white people are going to keep on being white. God bless them. I ain't got nothing against them. I'm, I'm talking to you because you're important. All right? So anyway, I'm done. Thank you guys for listening. It was it was a pleasure. Um, reminder, my book is called The Ten Commandments of Black Economic Power. We have a Black Wealth Mastery store. Uh, if you want to go over there, my wife has some uh, stuff there as well. Uh, she's a therapist. We have the first ever Black Financial Therapy Department in the Black Business School uh, where we want to connect to and understand for, on a scientific level the psychological barriers that keep us from building Black wealth. That's something we've been doing for a while. Also, uh, don't forget the All Black National Convention is October 25th through the 27th in Chicago, uh, Lombard, Illinois, to be exact. It's a suburb of Chicago. It's beautiful. It's going to be a great experience. You're going to have a lot of fun, learn a lot. And most importantly, you're going to connect with a lot of like-minded people, like a lot of the people in this room are going to be at the convention. And in fact, actually, in the next week or two, I'll have the team offer a discount on passes for the convention. 